to another three day special of initial D. That's right, for the next three days, we'll be checking out episode 13, 14, and 15, which means we'll be passing 50% of first stage. That seems like a long time coming. I remember the first day watching this anime, not knowing what to expect, but certainly you guys have definitely helped to fill in a lot of gaps. And I can see that a lot of you guys are really passionate into cars, which means shout out time. Shout out to Yong Yihu. Check out a channel called Elbow. He has a lot of videos on street racing in Japan and the real life equivalent of Initial D. I did check out his channel, one of the vlogging episodes. It was pretty cool seeing him traveling from one town to the other and then there were a couple of guys together. It really does look like a crew going to places together just like Akina Sweet Stars or Midnight Kids. I've forgotten who recommended me the channel of the Drift King but I did check it out. I always wonder what it feels like to actually be sitting in a passenger seat seeing the view when someone is drifting. And in the video, we see Drift King testing out some kind of car and the view of him going around the small little narrow roads it was quite exhilarating i love roller coaster and i wonder if i'm sitting in a car that's drifting would give me the same feeling or not that's what i really like to find out if i'm not wrong this is the video that i saw the other day look at that speed man i can understand why ikitani will pass out because it's pretty pretty dangerous oh this reminded me so much when i was a kid and i would go to arcade playing that popular drifting game it's literally in every arcade back in the 90s and in the millennium and as a kid i always have a hard time controlling the steering wheel also tell me this for you guys who have like knowledge in drifting does it require a lot of hand exercising like lifting weights to ensure that your hands have strength to control the car okay i'm actually quite mesmerized by this video jason well i like you a lot because definitely you know a lot about this. Takumi and the other FR drivers are using a technique called heel and toe. It's different from left foot braking. As Takumi's left foot is always in control of the clutch pedal, while his right foot control the brake and gas. Left foot braking will require the driver to use his left foot for the clutch and brake. So if I gotta use my left foot to hold the clutch and as well as the brake and doing this, I'm trying it out with my feet as I'm moving my hand. God, you can easily get cramps for this. Well, that's why racing is definitely a sport. Shout out to Captain. Of course, it's the real car. Both A85 and A86 were produced in years 83 to 87. So that means Initial D actually have approval from Toyota to put their car into an anime. That's a pretty sweet deal because years later, people still love that car. Shout out to Trollway Act. Takumi is a great friend. Yes, he is. And we're gonna see how he's gonna help Ikitani in this Texas Massacre match? Texas Chain match? Texas Hand Tape match? Death match? Texas Death match? Is there even the word Texas or I'm just too used to the whole wrestling lingo. Oh, he's definitely in a death match and I hope he doesn't die from it. We're gonna see what's gonna happen to this chap. I'm really looking forward to see how this unfolds. Subscribe and like this video. And also, I'm thinking of putting my videos into Patreon that has no tweak audio and also this on and off Anakin picture coming out. Well, I'm so glad that all you guys are understanding that this is a copyright issue. Hence, I can't put the original video inside. But let me know if you guys think I should put it on Patreon. Well, beyond that, episode 13. Here we go. Hmm. Oh, he's definitely piss from the last time. Nani? I gotta say, duct tape death match. Why did I keep on saying Texas, man? <laughs> huh? Wait, I thought he's challenging Ikizani. Am I missing something? I thought he was challenging Ikitani from the start. Or maybe Ikitani is accepting the challenge.
especially when you know he's gonna sabotage people by by making their car spin. Takumi really doesn't do well with challenges. As in, not, not to say do well. He's not motivated with challenges. Like, hey man, I want to challenge you. He's not motivated at all. But if a friend is in trouble or he has to deliver tofu, yeah, <laughs> I think that's his deal. Like literally every challenges, every racing challenges, you can just put tofu on the line and we're like, I'll do it. <laughs> There are a lot of other rules. If you guys know that there are other rules for racing, do let me know, man. Wait, you mean this duct tape deathmatch is actually a real thing as well? It's heavy, man. Yeah, the range. I've driven a car without power steering before. It's a workout, man. <laughs> Wow, you can only... How do I put this? If you, if you can steer... Wow, with only one hand, you can only literally steer the tire from here straight. Literally here. Unless you tape your hand like this. Then it works, right? It works. Continuously trip. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. You can't really motivate him by saying, Hey, I want to challenge you, but it's more like, I think it may be difficult, I'll do it. Shingo Shoji of the Miyogi Night Kids. If he's number two, who's number one? In Night Kids, the guy who lost? Hmm. You can also say that Shingo might want to be in the leader position as well. <laughs> hey that's true man that's true you don't really need to prove to them because all the people who has been coming to this town to challenge A85 is trying to prove to everyone else is that Nakazato? Yeah. Hmm. Ooh, 
that's that's a stinger. Man, I can't wait for Shingo to lose. You know, in the nature of drift racing, I would say that partially Shingo's perspective, not to say attitude, but perspective is right. Because when you talk about like street racing, underground racing, at the end of the day, it's the winner, man. And it's all a fight for reputation. But his attitude, mm. not the kind you want to be friends with. The story just keeps building up, man. <laughs> I was wondering why would he drive so far all the way out to in a mountain where there's no lights, hardly any lights, just to make a phone call? Now I get it. My man. But he got the car and now he got the girl. Probably what you need now is to change your hairstyle, man. I like his personality. He has a fun personality. I bet the dad definitely knows. Because the other guy from the gas station would have talked to him about it. And also, he's really into racing. He's gonna try that? Focus, bro. On an overnight trip, how can you not focus on that? <laughs> hmm. Nishadi. It's one eight. Eh? Practice guy. <laughs> Love matter. How to impress your date? <laughs> Man, I would say that Iketani has really gone down the ranks from the first time we saw him. You should have her by the third day. <laughs> 
<laughs> It'd be quite cool to have such kind of relationship with your boss, man. Boss cannot take a day off. Why? I'm trying to like secure a girlfriend here, you know, you know, if you know what I mean. Pretty cool relationship. <laughs> I look cool. Very short skirt. <laughs> Don't do that, man. Don't do that. Oh. Oh, God, that's so creepy. <laughs> Pump my gas, bitch. Pump it right now. I don't need gas, bitch. Came here for an answer. So you're going to make him do it. What if they bump into each other and he's mistaken this as A86? This feel a lot. Man, this really goes to show that I'm an IT's kids, man. If you guys, if some of you, I think a lot of you guys should be 90s kids as well, right? Remember back in those days when there's no phones? You have to call your girlfriend through the house telephone. And you're always nervous when the mom or the dad picks up. Looks like our boy is becoming a man. Hmm. Here's a corner. Attack him. Hmm. Oh, that's your classic flirting stuff to say. Oh, Fuji of Akina? Really? There's such thing? Haha, <laughs> 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 Isn't this just like the second, the first date with just one on one? Too fast, bro. Too fast. Too fast. Not too fast. Not a great position to be in. Not at all. Mmm, I don't like the feeling. And they're not talking much too. <sighs> I thought you said third date, man. 
cool vibrations. Wow. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> I like it as a, a theme song to him. Oh shit. Can you imagine how frightened Sari might be? I'm sorry after this date, I won't be hanging out with him no more. It's just too dangerous. <gasps> oh. Whoa. Oh snap, oh snap, oh snap. And this is what I'm what, what I was fearing. Oh shit. Oh shit, now he has to do it. Oh, they went to the hospital already. City hospital. Oh, okay, he's he, he's not too badly hurt. Takumi, now you have to do it, man. When two of your teammates, okay, friends, two of your friends got into like a close, okay, one actually is an accident. There you go, man. All right. It's too much, man. Ooh. Ooh. This is gonna be super interesting. And definitely, without a doubt, our boy Takumi has to stand up for his friends. I mean, to have Shingo coming here and opening a challenge, that's fine. But to go around and harming his friends, that's a no-no, man. I mean, Takumi is indeed a great friend. He is going to rise to the challenges if it's concerning his people, his friends, and not being disrespected. I think this is definitely going to be a very ferocious battle. I also don't know how is it possible to make a cornering with your hand being taped to your steering wheel. Unless you're taping it this angle then maybe that's the closest way i think it's possible other than that maybe using your elbow yeah, that would be a little bit foolish to do that also i had to compliment the storytelling of initial d so much the build is so awesome it makes sure it captures reasoning really well one of the things that i really like is how a show makes sense and initial d makes a lot of sense well, a lot of interesting stuff is developing the duct tape match is coming soon and i can't wait and i'll see you the next day for episode 14 where we're gonna find out what's gonna happen subscribe
subscribe and like this video also let me know if i should do a patreon where i put unedited version of initially into my reaction let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and i'll see you tomorrow for another initial d